show that the equation represents a sphere and find its center and radius. So for 19, we have 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 2z squared equals 8x minus 24z plus 1. So the first thing we want to do is to get all the x's, y's, and z's together and leave the 1 on the right side. This will help us uh, to complete the square later on. So we have 2x squared plus 2y squared plus, whoop, my bad, I'm not even listening to myself. 2x squared plus 8x plus 2y squared plus 2z squared minus 24z equals to 1. And let's just write down the formula of the sphere so we can use that later on. So now we're going to factor out a 2 out of both sides just to simplify this problem even more. So then we have x squared plus 4x plus y squared plus z squared minus 12z equals 1 half. Alright, so now we're going to complete the square for the x's, the y's, and the z's. So when you complete the square, you get x, and then you get your next component is just half of the coefficient of so for this case it would be 4x, so half of 4. So it would be plus 2 squared. And you can see that this equals x squared plus 4x plus 4. So we're going to need to add 4 to the right side to make both sides equal. So we're going to do that with y, but since y doesn't have an, a, a term with a coefficient, we're going to leave it as y squared. If we wanted to, we can say y plus 0 squared. And then we're going to have to do this with a z. So we have z half of 12, 6, so minus 6 squared. x equals z squared minus 12z plus 36. So we're going to add 36. Alright, so let's now simplify the right side. Um, so we have 1 half plus 40, which is equal to 40 and 1 half, which is equal to 81 over 2. So we, we have this now. Alright, so we can we can find our center point using the formula we wrote above to be two negative two zero six and our radius is gonna be the square root of eighty one over two, which equals nine over root two, which equals nine root two over two.